A lot of people have been asking for an update on this LS3 Corvette powered velocity kit plane. So let's head on over to Lens House and take a look at the current status of this amazing project. Hi, my name is Len Baxter and this is uh, my Velocity XL-5. It's an RG, re retractable gear. It's a canard airplane. It has a wing up front and a great big wing at the back, which isn't attached right now. But uh, I've been working on this now for about 12, 13 years. A little time off for this and that, but otherwise it's been uh, uh, an interesting project. The, uh, we'll get to the back of the plane a little later, but uh, there's a Corvette engine back there, LS3. But uh, up front here, it's kind of interesting. This, uh, it's uh, gullwing doors. We've got full glass panel, just like you'd find in an airliner. Um, and all the, all the toys, autopilot, etc., to make it uh, work the way it should. As you can tell, not all my upholstery is complete on the door pads, but uh, in general, we're uh, making great progress. Okay, we have our Dynon glass screen panel here. We have the autopilot controls. We have our, our Radio 1 Dynon. Place for a fancy uh, Garmin GPS. I haven't got there yet. Uh, uh, annunciator panel tells me when things are right and wrong. As you can see, there's no engine running, so the oil light's on, the alternator, alternator light's on. Second radio intercom. It's got all the toys so that you can uh, talk on your phone, listen to music and all that if you choose. Uh, on this side over here, I've got an iPad and I could, could put a second screen. The iPad's a cheaper solution, but uh, uh, down the road, maybe we'll go for a full screen. Over here is the uh, SDS LCD programmer. It uh, controls the engine. Uh, we've got two uh, engine uh, modules on this, one running four cylinders and the other running the other four cylinders, so we've got redundancy. With 500 horsepower, even four cylinders is a lot of horsepower. This is the prop control, gear control, and these units here, this one with the switch panel, and this one over here with the uh, uh, circuit breakers and the heater control, um, they uh, were kind of interesting making. We worked with uh, uh, Mary Ann over at uh, uh, Michigan laser graving in in Holly, Michigan, and uh, she made these uh, translucent panels, and I put an LC LED behind it. And as you can see, I can go light, I can go very dim, shut it off completely, uh, and uh, really a nice job. She really helped me on that. Um, so uh, we've got air master switches. We can do that. We got a every every. Good, you gotta have room to plug in your iPhone. <laughs> and we have heated seats. I can turn on the, the seat and the, the front seats are heated. So uh, it's kind of nice. And we also have uh, the ability to go off the heated seats and go to a defogger. So the, uh, the uh, power resistors go into a tube that feeds the, the uh, windscreen. We've got a uh, pretty nice stick here which controls the ailerons or the elevator and uh, push to talk, trim, autopilot, all the, all the necessary buttons are right here to control most of the, uh, the glass panel. When, we did, when I did the interior, all the hard surfaces are covered with a very dense foam. It's actually used in hardtops, uh, the hardtop uh, cars. And then this is ultra leather so when you, when you touch it, it feels really nice, nice tactile feel to it, and it's very easy to work with. Um, I haven't uh, tied this down yet, I've uh, still got to work on it. Anyway, that's uh, everything on the inside. Got the air controls up here, little extra lights if we want them. They go on and off so that I can read maps if I want to use a paper map for any reason or instructions. And in the back, the lights are for passengers. I can actually shut off the lights and put them in the dark so they don't get in my way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're here at the, the uh, rear of the airplane. This is a pusher. Uh, we've got the LS3 Corvette engine. Um, 
Now, this is the one that has cam, it's 500 horsepower. The prop won't take all that horsepower, but uh, we limit it with RPM. We have a reduction unit here. This is a Stinger Drive reduction unit. The one I had in there previous, I had a problem. Uh, the manufacturer did not stand up tall on it, and that's just the way it is, I guess. But uh, Stinger's been very good for, for me, and uh, I've got a custom hub and into the MT prop. Uh, you have to lower the speed of the engine to prop speed. Prop can't go over 2700 RPM and of course an engine can go up to 7000. And uh, what I've done for cooling, I've got the rad here and there's a big uh, um, scoop with underneath like a P51 and a uh, fan in there as well. But the most important thing that I did was this, these big tubes here. This exhaust pipe ends right about here. And this becomes an augmenting, uh, augmented exhaust tube. What that does, it makes it a jet pump and it sucks air. So when this is completely cowled, the only way that air can get into the cowling area is through the radiator. It sucks it right through, cools the engine, and things work. So I can't make it work right now because we're not completely cowled up. <laughs> the propeller is uh, made in Germany. It's an MT prop. Uh, it's kind of a fancy Dan unit in as much as it uh, has variable pitch. There's a controller, there's an electric motor right on the uh, back of the uh, propeller hub and it controls the pitch and creates a coarse pitch or a fine pitch so that you can have your engine and propeller matched at all times. Today was a perfect day weather-wise to pull the airplane out of the hangar and get that beast on the back end, fire it up. So let's just do it one more. Ready? Yep. Okay, one of the things I did on this airplane is put two uh, redundant ECUs in it to control the engine. Each one controls four cylinders. Now I did that for redundancy for emergency. If one of the computers uh, dies on me, I still have four cylinders, still have plenty of horsepower to keep it in the air, find an airport, put her down safely. So uh, running on four cylinders, it uh, takes and does a V4. 
So you've got uh, two on each bank and it creates a perfectly balanced V4 uh, engine. So uh, when you do that, of course you're pumping air with the others so it's a little rough but at least it'll get you to the ground safely. So next steps, I've got to program the ECU to get the exact fuel air mixture for every RPM and every load. That hasn't been done yet, so what you saw here is, is a little rough running. It sounds good, but it's a little rough running. Uh, I've got to take and put the wings on, obviously, and put on uh, a little bit of polish, a little spit and polish. I have... Uh, Always, right? <laughs> Every <laughs> I time. I love it. <laughs> That's some joys of living in an airport. Anyway, uh, I've got to polish up all the paint. This is raw paint, just the way it, it came off uh, when I painted it. Uh, so we got to do that and put some graphics on it, make it look pretty. Um, other than that, uh, it's got to go through uh, all the, the fine tunings of getting an aircraft ready for the FAA ins inspection.